Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Gothic. Alright, now, um, basically, uh, I didn't really level myself up at all. As you can see, I'm still level 12. Didn't get any experience points. I tried killing a Swamp Shark and it's much more difficult than I thought. Because Swamp Sharks, well, basically, right now I'm using the Crossbow of War, which is by far the most powerful range weapon, as far as I know, in the game. Um, the problem is, it takes like 8 to 10 shots to kill one Swamp Shark with a crossbow of war. So, I'm just thinking about trying to kill it when I'm a bit stronger. Even though that's probably not going to work too well. Anyways, now, um, enough of that. What I'm going to do now is find the focus stone, and it's not hard to find, I've already explored the area quite a bit, and I still remember from my previous playthroughs whereabouts this focus stone is located. Um, let's just kill this lizard, one shot kill, awesome, very awesome. Alright, so to find the focus stone, go over here. Okay, I'm gonna have to explore the forest quite a bit. Well, not on video though. I need to level my, myself up quite a bit. Get back to a lot. Okay, so basically just follow this path. And eventually you should find yourself in a clear open field area with all these trees and Foliage stuff. Okay. Die scavenger. Okay. Now, doesn't seem like there's too many enemies around here. But maybe that's because I killed all the enemies. Huh. Oh well. Right. So, the focus stone is over here somewhere. I know that. It's easy to find a focus stone, you just have to... There it is. You have to look at this... Basically all you're trying to find is this... Uh, well, pedestal. Not really a pedestal, but... This small platform with four strange... Very small horns, I guess. At least they look like horns to me. Alright, I'm just gonna drink some potions. Because I remember this, what happens here. Scram! You have no business to be here! I'm searching for the focus. Unfortunately, you're too late for that. I've already found it. And I'm keeping it for myself! The sleeper talked to me last night and made me his only tool. Now I'll only serve the sleeper. No more Templars or Gurus. Only me alone. Die! Oh my goodness. It doesn't seem alright. And he's running away from me. I do not know why. Come back here. Oh my god, please don't tell me he's gonna commit suicide. Oh shit. That son of a bitch, I'm gonna kill him. Oh, god damn it. That's it. They're not meant to run away. Well, he isn't meant to run away, I mean. That's just retarded. And hopefully he won't get killed by a shadow beast either, so, yeah, I'm hoping for the best right now. Oh, come on, hurry up. Okay, there we go. Now that I've caught up to him, all I need to do is basically hit him a couple of times. Yay! Alright, now. Let's loot his body and the focus from the ocean cliff. So some other stuff. Nothing 
very interesting, that's for sure. Okay, let's just kill a few of these enemies. Wow, that wolf didn't even notice. Unbelievable. So many enemies. Oh, come on. Okay, screw that. I'm not wasting bolts on that piece of shit. Okay, now. Oh, it's a shadow beast. Now, I'm just going to take the time here to see if my little crossbow of war is good enough at killing a shadow beast. Hopefully it is. But possibly it isn't. Oh, come on, please. Alright. Yes. Awesome. Alright, well that's that. I know that I can kill some shadow beasts now, which is a good thing. Very happy about that. Ah, die my rat. And die scavenger. Okay. And now let's get out of here. Okay, so that didn't take long at all. The only thing that took long is actually killing all the enemies. Oh, some of the enemies. What of what? Oh. I'm probably gonna level up right now if it gives, like, if completing this quest give me, gives me enough XP. I only need, like, 1.25k left to level up. Then I need another two levels, and then I'm basically ready to equip Scar's Sword. Okay, now. Oh, damn it. Why the hell do I have a crossbow out? Jesus Christ. <clears throat> okay. Now, let's just go to Iberion. Okay, this is kind of easy for chapter 2. I know, however, that you have to go to the micro area in chapter 2 later. But I think it's after this. Because, yeah, I'm pretty sure after this I have to go to the old mine again. Okay, cool. <sighs> Let's talk to Iberian. I found the focus. Excellent. You have done us a great favor. Now, take the focus back to Kor Kalom. He'll know what needs to be done. The novice Nyrus has gone mad. He said that the sleeper had talked to him and chosen him as his only servant. Then he attacked and tried to kill me. The might of the sleeper is so vast that unprepared souls despair over it. Only we gurus, in our years of meditation, have achieved the spiritual strength to bear the voice of the almighty sleeper. Okay, okay, now. What about some kind of reward? Since you're not a member of our brotherhood, I will reward you. Take this amulet as a sign of my gratitude. Wait, so if I was part of his brotherhood, he wouldn't give me a reward? Amazing. Alright, now, where the hell is this amulet? Oh, must be this. But I don't want to wield it. Not yet, at least. <clears throat> Alright, now let's go to Korkalom. That psychotically unstable psychopath. Yeah, that's the best way to describe him. He's really, really unstable. Okay. Now I just... Does this guy want to talk to me or something? Oh wait, no, never mind. Okay. <clears throat> think up there is Corkle. Yep, 
that's called Colombs area. What an awesome name. Imagine if your name was like Core something or Gorna something. That would be a pretty cool name, I think. Okay, now. Let's talk to Cole Colomb. 